Hey friends, Peggy Hall back with you from the healthyamerican.org. I've got a healthy American who sent me an email about her impressions of Baltimore. And I want to read that to you. And I would love to hear from anyone else that has lived in Baltimore, Maryland. Let me know your impressions of what's going on. I've done several videos about the Baltimore Bridge. I talked about the mayor, the youngin, who is all about building back better. And I guarantee you, it's not going to be called the Francis. Francis Scott Key Bridge, because they are trying to eliminate anything related to patriotism. This individual, along with the governor, I'm going to bring you another video about this upcoming in a day or two. The governor of Maryland is neck and neck with Newsom in California, trying to be the new world disorder hero. He is all about the sustainability, the resiliency, the smart cities, the 15 minute cities, uh, climate change, uh, wind and solar. So I guarantee you that we are going to see a different kind of bridge and it is going to be infused with all of this climate change hoopla. He actually wants there to be, this governor wants there to be these wind, uh, you know, energy farms in the water. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see that now in the port of Baltimore coming up. So that's really a topic for another day, but I'm fascinated by what's going on in Maryland. I had no idea that the crime family that Nancy Pelosi comes from figured so much in the state of Maryland. And I am doing some deep digging on that. So there's a lot of things that just don't add up. So I want to read to you this email from a healthy American who also is curious about a very strange video, a disappearing uh, video. And in an upcoming video, I want to share with you what I saw that I don't think a lot of people saw in the video that has been released you know, to the mainstream. And I also have not been able to uncover the names of the crew of the Dolly, which by the way, is not owned by Angela Chow, the late Angela Chow, who was the sister-in-law of Mitch McConnell. I covered that briefly in some videos and some of you have asked me for a deep dive. So I'll do separate coverage. I've got so much that I want to share with you. This Dolly container ship is owned by Synergy Group. And I called the Synergy Group to find out who the pilots were on board. And they told me that they're not releasing that information. So I wanted to let you know that I've done a lot of coverage and I'm not going to be talking about all of that on this video because I already have, but I am going to talk about a message from the sponsor. This is how I'm able to pay off my legal bills for suing the county, which is ongoing by the way. So stick with me, friends. I'm going to hop right on over to noblegoldinvestments.com. This is my uh, first sponsor that I had for the Healthy American and I'm grateful for their continued support support. So the message that I have is, uh, here we go, has investing got you stressed? Is it too complicated? You don't want to leave your money in the bank losing value. Why don't you get your money working for you? So an option is to invest in precious metals with noble gold investments. It's simple, real, and always there for you. You can uh, stay safe through the history's toughest times and noble gold investments they're, uh, they're American experts make it easy. In fact, I would love for you to call 877-646-5347. You will speak to an American in this country. This is a family-owned business. I know the CEO. I've had him on the show before. So check it out. There is a no risk obligation to get your information. So if you are after an IRA and if you qualify, look at this, you will get a free quarter ounce gold standard coin. So keep it simple. You can't go wrong with precious metals. Again, that's noblegoldinvestments.com. And I do want to let you know that there is a disclaimer that they want me to read. There's always a risk of investment and there's no guarantee of any kind. But again, check it out over at over at Noble Gold Investments. Uh, it's noblegoldinvestment.com. And I will have a link for you in the description box below. Friends, I want to read to you an email from a healthy American, and I'm so grateful for all of you that are reaching out, that are emailing me, support at thehealthyamerican.org. The snail mail address is Peggy Hall, and that is 205 Avenida Del Mar, number 681, San Clemente, California, 92674. I love to hear from you, and I'm sharing as much as I can from my healthy Americans. She writes, Peggy, imagine 
that you and that we are being lied to. Imagine that, she says. And I want you to watch this local news broadcast of the supposed destroyed Francis Scott Keybridge. I'm gonna air that for you in just a moment. She said, the birds just disappear in the news feed. It looks like an AI news feed. Why? Let me know if you saw that. I'll, I'll air it for you in just a moment. And she goes on to give me her name. She says, I've reached out to you a few times. Uh, via email. And I have information that you might be interested in, depending on the stories you're covering. I live in Frederick, Maryland, and I've been watching this Francis Scott Bridge incident, she says, not accident, very carefully. I usually avoid Baltimore like the plague. It's a dirty, high crime disaster. And I've not, and it has been for years. My best friend became a truck driver in her mid fifties after leaving the medical killing fields. I went on one of her routes going over the key bridge with her to pick up a load. The east side of the bridge is nothing but trucking distribution centers. There is a massive Amazon distribution center that was like its own city. Let me know if you, if any of you have seen that, if you're in that area. She writes, I have never seen anything that enormous before. It's a major trucking corridor, especially for trucks with hazardous material. Traffic is always a nightmare around Baltimore, especially the Interstate 95. The trucks now will have to take the long way around, and I'm not sure the roads and bridges will be able to handle that kind of traffic. She writes that the next big bridge would be the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. I doubt they allow hazardous materials on that bridge, especially with the high wind conditions and the heavy beach traffic in the summer. I think it's part of slowing down the food and supply chain and now driving up the cost of food and other you know, uh, products because it will take more gas to get around the accident. So I'm going to pause for a moment. There's more in the email. Let me know if that has occurred to you. I tell you, I have the best audience on YouTube. You healthy Americans are full of so many insightful aspects, and I appreciate reading your comments. A reminder that I do read the comments within the first 24 hours. I try to like and respond to as many as I can, and then I'm on to the next video. So that's another reason that I love to have you here. I've got my show every day starting at 4 p.m. Pacific. That's Monday through Friday. And there was another incident, another insight about the incident that a healthy American said, which was, isn't it interesting that they got the construction crew workers off the bridge and there were no other lost lives from people driving the bridge, because then there would have been multiple investigations by insurance companies. So think about it. If the powers that shouldn't be, the bad guys, the puppet masters, the New World Disorder crew, the WEFers, as I call them, the World Economic Forum, um, you know, individuals that are following the United Nations playbook of basically the one world disorder, imagine if they wanted to keep everything hush hush, they would have fewer casualties because there would be fewer investigations. I thought that was a really interesting aspect. Other insights that you had, in fact, I should cover this on another video and I think I will, but I wanted to mention this other one. How were they able to clear the bridge so quickly? Now we did hear, and I aired it on one of my videos, the first responders as they were talking to each other, the dispatchers, but we never heard the May Day uh, May Day. We never heard that happening. We only heard the response to the May Day. We never heard the May Day. We never had any other um, video feeds about this from any other ships or people or anyone else with that going on. We never got the names of the crew and the harbor pilots that were piloting that ship, nor did we get the name of the master who was piloting the ship from the Synergy Group. So there's so much information that we probably are never going to get answers to, just like we never got answers to what went on in Lahaina and what went on in the big eye, as I'm calling that country in the Middle East, so I don't get trip the algorithm here. So let me return to the email, but I wanted to let all of you know that I'm reading your comments and I appreciate your comments. They're very savvy and sophisticated because you are helping the Americans. All right. So uh, my healthy American who emailed me went on to say, have you heard of monkey works spelled W E R X? 
We followed him for years. Actually, I haven't. I understand he's a YouTuber, so I can't vouch for the channel. I haven't seen it personally, but this is what she's telling me. He's former military and shows what's going on with the military, surveillance, aircraft, and balloons that spy on us. Imagine that. He also shows the weather modification aircraft companies spraying our skies. We always play close attention to his reports around our area in uh, Maryland. We live not too far from Camp David and we're between DC and Baltimore. Monkey Works watches the Chesapeake Bay carefully since the Potomac River branches off the Chesapeake Bay leading right to DC. Just like the, uh, I don't know the pronunciation, Patuxent River, help me friends, I'm not from that area, branches off into Baltimore. Trying to confirm, but I heard that there were some naval ships trapped since the bridge collapse. And uh, she goes on to say, you mentioned you might not do too much more coverage, but I wouldn't shut that down because I think there is more to cover. I think this story is a domino-like effect of what's to come. And she said there was a local newscast that had been trying to find that shows a picture of the ship's captain and co-pilot. And she said, I think it's been scrubbed. I, I don't know if that's accurate, friends, because there are some images floating around, but I've not been able to confirm it that they're Ukrainian pilots. But let me give you my take on that. I think it would be too obvious to use a Ukrainian pilot if you were trying to have some sort of sabotage on a bridge in the United States. I think you would use something that wouldn't be that obvious, but then again, evil is kind of stupid. So I think that is a red herring to have people chase that story down. So that's why I'm not really chasing it down because I don't have any evidence of that uh, to be true. And then she goes on to say, um, I'll keep watching our local reports and I'll pass them on to you. In the meantime, thank you for all you do. I don't feel so crazy being a critical thinker when I'm listening to you. Critical thinking is a lost art in today's world. God bless you, Peggy. And she leaves me with some Bible uh, passages as well that we are supposed to expose the evildoers, which is Ephesians 5.11 and encourage one another, which is 1 Thessalonians 5.11. And that was a passage that I quoted a lot in the beginning of all of the hogwash, because it goes on to say that while people are saying peace and safety, that's when the thief is going to steal in the night. And basically that is evil. And it is going to catch those who are sleeping. That's why we need to remain awake, alert, and aware of what's going on. That's why I do this channel is because I want to encourage you to let you know that you're not alone and that you're not having the wool being pulled over your eyes. And we do deep dives into some of these headlines, not to sensationalize it or to be in the spin cycle, but to break down, as I call it, we read between the lies. So to break down uh, what the you know bamboozlers are trying to do as they're sloshing their hog hogwash all over us. Stick with me, friends. I am going to do one additional short video for you in uh, today's show. And I want to share with you a very strange video. It was the first video that I saw. And I'm going to point out some of the anomalies. And, oh, oh, and I forgot I was going to play her video as well. So let me do this. And I will cue that up for you. So give me just a moment here. Okay, let me share my screen. I will get this on a full image and let me know if this is something that you've seen. I cannot vouch for this video. It did come in just, uh, this is a very short video, just a few seconds, but because it was a part of my Healthy Americans email that she sent to me, I am going to share it with you. So you'll have a reference to what she was saying about the birds disappearing. So keep your eye in this part of the screen. And it is strange that we can have crystal clear pictures of Mars. We don't, don't you know, like people are driving cars on Mars. Of course they are. Don't question it. It comes from NASA and everything that they have is absolutely accurate, of course. Um, even though it was started by, um, how do I say, the Germans who came to this country after World War II. Yeah, the bad guys, they started NASA. Anyhow, uh, we get crystal clear pictures of the moon and uh, Mars and all of the suns that don't exist that are, we're told are out there, but we can't get any other clear footage of this, like, you know, on the ground, literally in uh, Maryland. Here we go. Did you catch that? How those birds just disappeared Let's play it again. It, they disappear right around here. Why is that? 
okay, there come the birds and they just disappear. Very, very strange indeed. All right, let me uh, click out of that. All right, friends, uh, I thought that was very interesting. Keep sending me all of your footage, your insights. Leave comments here. Make sure that you're subscribed to my Substack. It's free, peggyhall.substack.com. And stick with me. I want to share with you another very strange video that just doesn't add up. See you soon, everybody.